Yo, 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 this Posey, the Bobby Brown of Black Compass, man. Y'all want to hear some real shit, real nigga shit? Because that's all we do is real nigga shit, man. Pull up, man. Every Tuesday, Thursday, Black Compass, man. Shanifa, holla at me, too. Shout out to my homegirl, Shanifa, man. She just dropped off some uh some waters. Shout out to my homegirl. Leave that in there, too, Dred. Shout out to Shanifa, man. Black Compass, <laughs> Posey. Yo, Black Compass, Black Compass Media. This is a, this is a urgent show, emergency show. The bar god is here. He just went fucking crazy with Mac Byra. What's up, Danny? Yeah, what's popping, man? What's popping? What's going on, man? What is going on, brother? Man, listen. <laughs> motherfucking street. On? The streets on fire, man. Hey, man. I don't know what. Listen, man. I don't know what got into you and Mac Myron. I don't know what y'all, what kind of weedies y'all niggas was eating. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, bro. What the hell happened on Body Bag Battle League, bro? Please, t- like, y'all was uh, going crazy. Uh, listen, man, I, I knew we was going to have a fire battle, man. I didn't know it was going to turn out like that, though. Good. When they set it up, when they set it up, they was like, look, man, this for Tink, man. We trying to throw an event for Tink, you know what I mean, free Tink. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we uh want you in Mac Myron. And I, and I, I had watched him versus Real Deal. I'm like, God damn, he just dogged my nigga real. Like, he dogged him. Then I seen him dog Jeffrey. He dogged Jeffrey. I'm talking about, like, he's just whooping niggas, like, left and right. Then him and, him and Reaper had a good-ass battle. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, this, you know, Mac Myron, his name ain't, ain't, you know, at least at that point, his name wasn't, like, buzzing like that. Niggas knew of him. If he was in the know, you was in the know, but... You know, if you really knew what he was capable of, you knew Mac Myron wasn't no joke. And so I, I went into the battle like, I can't treat him like, oh, this is just Mac Myron. Let me just go in and switch some bar. Like, right. I was like, you know what? Let me get back into my punchline bag to show niggas I still can punch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I, I left that alone and let Nitty take it. You know what I'm saying? Because I was like, I can do other shit other than punch. So I'm not like a pure puncher because I do other stuff. But I knew for this battle, I'm going to get back to the punchline, Danny, and remind niggas that I can still bar it out with the best of them. With the best of them. I didn't know it was going to be like that. Bro, I, I, listen, man. I didn't know it was going to be like that. I just I just watched it this morning. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Good just, looking, man. I just seen it this morning. That's why I said, yo, let me call you um, 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 immediately. <laughs> like, what? Like, what is going on, man? Yo, y'all was wildin', man. That, that that might be the best. Ah, yeah, yeah, it's up there. Best bat, like battle of the year. It's, it's in there. It's in there for sure. Hey, it's up there with Bill Collector and uh, Hitman. Yeah, it's up there with uh. Let me see. I heard Chest and Geeky was crazy, crazy. So it's it's definitely up there. It's in the top three for sure. It's not the best one currently. Man, I think it's the best battle on on available like today the best one available today mm. you know so it's like all right i i wanted and listen that happened the same day as resolution that's what i so that, like that's why because i remember seeing a picture of y'all in um yeah it wasn't it wasn't heavily promoted yeah, it was like the same we, day yeah same day and it was kind of I, I told bill and they're like why would y'all throw this shit on the same day as Resolution, man. Like, that you know what I'm saying? All the attention is on Cassidy. That battle is better than any of those Resolution battles. It is. It is. Yes. Yeah. It definitely is. Yeah. I think so. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you what happened. So, Nitty and T-Tot wind up being the best battle mm-hmm. on uh Resolution, right? Yep. And it was dope. I-, I think that one was more like bars versus angles. Yeah. And I think Bill Collector and Hitman was kind of like angles, personals, jokes. They kind of have a little bit of everything in their battle. But I think me and Mac, it wasn't really no angle, nothing. It was just straight bars for for six rounds, bar fest. No let up, no let up. Entertainment, rebuttals, all that shit. So I think that's why me and Mac stand above the rest of them battles because it was like, Niggas ain't really got no angles in none of this shit. Niggas just rapping. This is an old school rap battle. That's what I think. That's what why is like like you know Pat Stay hit me up, Jerry West. You know what I'm saying? Like all the Mike P. 
is getting respected by the battler, like disaster. Everybody hitting me up about the battle. I didn't know it was gonna have a culture like like this one that this what this what the culture need. We need these type of battles in battle rap. Mm-hmm. Everything don't gotta be uh superstar shit, big stage, super all this head you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just need good old fashioned dope rappers. Mm-hmm. Put dope rappers together and you get good results. And and I'm you know, I think we just proved that once again. Man, I did not expect this. I mean, I knew y'all both was dope. You know what I'm saying? I've been saying Mac Myron, you know what I'm saying? He deserved way bigger looks than what he been been getting and all that. Mac Myron been dope for a long time. But I wasn't expecting it to be Man. this explosive. I, I'm being real with you. I was not expecting <laughs> that. That nigga said, that nigga said, you paid your way. He said, you paid your way. You got a lot of stamps. I had to bubble through the ups and downs like a lava lamp. Oh, <laughs> fuck. God oh. damn, that shit was fire. Yo, when you standing in front of somebody that's consistently like, Delivering the material to you like <laughs> right, right, feel? right. Like, how it's it like feel? it's like fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, well, I, I would say it's two sides. One of, part of me is like fuck. I'm this nigga is dogging me, mm. and the other part is I'm glad he's doing this because we get a good battle. Because right. if he's saying a bunch of whack shit. That like I'm not I'm not happy with my opponent saying some whack shit because then I know I'm about to smoke them and now nobody cares. Mm-hmm. See, like that's why I be telling niggas sometimes a classic or debatable is always better than you just body bagging somebody. Smoking a nigga boots. Even though that's the goal, the goal is to body bag yo yo your man. But if you do that and your man choking your man whack, it don't have a replay value to it. Right. It's just like another battle that just comes and goes. So that's when true. both that's niggas true. is trying to kill each other, mm-hmm. and now the streets can debate, oh, Mac won, Danny won. Now it's just like, all right, this is this is what the culture needs. We need good ass battles. So part of me was like, this man, this nigga won't stop. Bro. Like when when will the fucking torture end? You know what I'm saying? And then the other part was like, man, this nigga is wilding, but I I need him to wild like this because I know I'm about to wild out too. Yeah, like, so it, it's, like, it's a weird feeling. It's like after each round, I was looking at the, the other nigga like, yo, I don't know like what you could do. Like, I, I, what you going to do? Yeah, like, it was really one of those. I ain't seen one of those in a while. Like, man, I don't know what you Thank you, bro. Thank that. you. Thank you, man. I Thank you, man. I, that means a lot for real. That it do, man. It's like, you know what it reminded right. me of, man. It reminded me of when I first watched Av Nitty and Av went, and I said, right. Nitty, I don't know what you gonna do. And then Nitty, I don't went, know what you gonna like, do, nigga. I was like, Av, I know you don't have nothing left. Like, I know you don't like. And it just kept going, bro. It just kept going, man. It, it was crazy. That's I told nigga, I said, yo, yo, me and Mac Myron's like the new Av and Nitty. You know what I'm saying? Like, we the current day, like back and forth. And I've been putting on good, like. Me and Quantum Physics was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Me and Bankhead was crazy. Me, me and Trez, uh, fire on volume four. Me and Stack Almighty. Me and Mac Myron, like, I'm really telling niggas I'm on a champion of the year run. And, you know, I got I got the band legacy shit next week, disaster next week. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah. I'm woken. Yeah, Danny versus Diz. Yeah, it's that time. It's that time. Yeah. Baby. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah. It's, it's time, time, man. Really play ball. Lace up, nigga. You know what time it is. <laughs> you know what time it is. Listen, disaster, disaster ain't never stood in front of no shit like this. Like, listen, ever. Listen, man. Shout out to Geechee. Shout out to Rum. I, like, what y'all bring into the game is 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 great for the West. It's great for the culture. Right. Danny and Did, this is, like, this is, this is, this is that. You know what I'm saying? Like, for the... For the OG, for the guys that put mm-hmm. the groundwork for y'all to do what y'all doing, this is that right Back. here. You know what I'm saying? Like, this mean a lot. Yeah, this and mean I, a lot. I've always respected Diz on the level of this is a world superstar. Like, niggas know disaster literally all over the world. People He's hate battled when, all over the world. People hate when I say it, but, like, it's just the truth, bro. New York got Lux and Mook. Diz yep. is that. For the West, like whether you like his he, he definitely or not, is. He, he's that. So like, in <clears> he is. You are. This is a big fucking battle, man. This is big, bro. 
This is big. I can't. And I know he's coming. I know he's coming to really like show levels of mastery. He's trying to really take my head off, embarrass me, clown me, rebuttal, freestyle. He's trying to do all that shit. And I always tell these niggas, right idea, wrong nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit, you can do all that shit to a nigga. It's just like, just like how, how you just said, like, Mac Myron did all that shit. And it's like, now what the fuck can Danny do? So, despite how crazy things gonna go, I'm gonna have an answer to it. And then the only thing, the only result we can get is a classic. Yeah, I got, I got an answer to it. In fact, he needs an answer to what I'm coming with. Mm-hmm. I'm not on defense, nigga. I'm on offense. Like, that's how I look at this shit. I'm not playing defense, nigga. Mm-hmm. Fuck you. Because, right. like, everything, this is about Diz's return. Oh, Diz ain't been on King of the Dodge. They had a fallout. And, you know, this is disastrous. So it's it's like the disaster show featuring Danny Myers. That's how this bas- that's how this battle is really feeling. It's disaster featuring Danny Myers. But I'm coming to show niggas, hey, I'm I'm one of them niggas too. Mm-hmm. If disaster's a gold legend, all that shit, I'm the same shit. Don't don't look at me as the underdog nigga. Like I really been in the trenches. I'm older than disaster. I've been I was rapping before he was. So it, you know this ain't nothing to me. It's regular day in the fucking office for me. Watch. Mm, man, you got it. Because you know, now, now, okay, even you brought up the Chef Trez battle earlier. Now, you know people say, now, that's a debatable battle. But this, oh, that's what, good. What no, that's saw, good. But, but hey, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Okay, go ahead. I, I will say this. Uh, it, it, it's debatable as me and Trez is, is a fire battle. Fire battle. That's yeah. what, that's the... That's like the like the ultimate payoff is at the end of the day is that niggas is getting quality work out of me. Mm-hmm. It ain't like you know oh well people, you know the people's gripe is the Danny Myers that we got <clears throat> versus Mac Myron, the Danny we get versus Saint Mike, the Danny <clears throat> we get versus Quantum Physics. Th- they feel like right, we, don't, right. we don't get that Danny in the big battles. You know what I'm saying? The big ones. So you need uh, that, that's what people. That's what you know. That's what they say though. Right, right, okay. So, me and Disaster is a huge battle, a huge and this battle. is probably gonna be the best Danny ever. So, I don't, I, mm-hmm. like, this is gonna be one of the best Dannys ever mm-hmm. in, in a big, huge battle. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like me and Trez, I, I actually like to keep it real. I showed him, like I said some shit that to him that niggas ain't never said. Like I really talked to him. I really showed him levels of rapping, barring, and all that shit. So. And he did good. He held he held up against it. So it wasn't like, all right, you know, Danny was whack. Like I but honestly, I did hold back certain shit that I I I could have said, but I held it back out of respect for him, his family and you know, yeah. so I, I did hold back in that battle. I was like, you know what? Yeah. I ain't gonna really go there. I ain't gonna treat this nigga like he a, a enemy. Right. That's what niggas wanted to see. But just, I'm just, I'm a man first before I'm a battle rapper, so I ain't finna, like, disrespect my look. And I've been, like, mentoring him since he got in the game. Right. You know, as a teenager. So, it was like a, re- it really was a big bro versus little bro fight. So, it wasn't, niggas didn't get, like, the, the killer, 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 Danny. It was more of a rap. Like, come on, little bro. Let me show you I, I can rap better than you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Let me show you some shit. Let me see what you got. And then that's what it was. It wasn't that ty- that type of battle for me. And if niggas got it debatable, then that's cool. I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, as long as we – and actually, we was – I thought, like, round for round, round for round, we was the second best battle on Volume 4 after Geechee and Arsenal. Because mm. you didn't get a whole third round from Twerk. Right. Uh, clean paper didn't come come with no crazy shit for T-Top. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, the, the other battles on the car was cool with me and Trez with nigga, like – we was fired, nigga. Like our shit was fired. Like his first round, uh, his first round was crazy. My, my first, my second round was crazy, and then we both kind of had like a high third. So you know, it's still, but overall, just overall, it was like a fire ass battle. But as far as like this Mac Myron shit, it's it's just a reminder that Danny still can punch. You know, even at this age, at thirty nine. I'm still, like, one of the nicest niggas with these bars. Like, you can't have the name Bar God 
and not be out here proving it and, and, and having some evidence. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm giving evidence for six years straight. I barred it out with the most lyrical niggas on the planet, and I never died. I have not died. I haven't got 30. I haven't choked. So I'm showing niggas, like, when I say I'm going to go, I'm most second, consistent. Benny. You haven't, y'all just, you <clears throat> haven't choked. Six straight years, you haven't choked. Six years, no chokes, man. I, I had little stumbles and shit here and there, but never where I was like, time. Fuck it. I don't know. I don't, fuck it, time. Like, I never choked. Never. I've had stumbles. I've had stumbles and shit, but, you know, that's, that's just like human nature. Like, niggas is going to stumble and shit, but, you know, as far as like a full-on choke, I never choked. Not, not one time. Niggas can't show me where I choke. Mm. Like, I never did. And it, But, like, I battled the, the 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 titans of writing, though. I battled the Chillas and the JCs and the Rum Nitties and the B-Dots, the Quantum Physics, the St. Mike's, the XLs, Mr. Mills, Joan Eyes, Young Cannons, Danger Zone. Hey, you know bro. what I'm saying? Like, I battled the Barbs, nigga, Cortez. I battled all the writers the only niggas I ain't battled was Lux, Owey, Ill Mac, and Iron. And I actually got, like, I'm I'm in works with three of those battles right now. So once I get those out the way, the last one will be Lux. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to take on Iron, Ill Mac, and O-Red. After that, now it's like, go get Lux, because that's the last writer on the planet. Nah, it's one I got to see you get before Lux. It's one I need. I need to see this. It's two actually, but one I really need to see. You duck me on traffic oh. three and still running. Smack turning up these volumes. Yet I don't hear nothing. Yet I don't hear nothing. Yeah. You a college boy, nigga. You don't talk no llama. I'll kidnap your daughter to get her back. You gotta fuck your mama, you motherfucker. <laughs> hey, Briz Rusty, you gonna have to come outside. Listen, listen, it ain't, that ain't on me, not but I wouldn't put him in the in the writers category, just, battle, like, in general, I gotta see just as far as the battle, oh, I'm with it. I'm I've been ready. I'm my three rounds is sitting in front of me. I got my three rounds ready for he Briz right now. Like I'm smoking, I'm ready. Then he been smoking that twerk. But check this out. Check this out. And I'm not taking none away from Briz because he's been doing his job. His job is getting there smoke niggas, and he's smoking niggas. But the niggas he's smoking ain't capable of fighting back the way I know how to fight back. All these niggas look different when they get in front of me. Like, they be killing niggas, doing all this shit. But then when they in front of me, it's like they can't kill me. Mm. Like, I, I seen Chilla send Prep Soul at the Gramercy. Hey, then right after that, right after that, Chilla battled me. And then what happened? <laughs> niggas like, oh, shit. You know, Danny might have 30, Chilla, bro. You know, I thought it was a clear win. You know, danger zone. He said, uh, he he made a lot of Zay throw the towel mm -hmm. on Black Ice Cartel. Mm -hmm. Then danger zone, danger zone next battle, he come to L.A. in traffic. What happened? He can't kill me. It's a classic. That's why. So my thing is, when these niggas do all that shit to them niggas, I keep telling them, I'm not no regular battle rapper, bro. I'm, I'm like really one of the definitions of battle rap. It's not, you can't kill me easily. You're not going to beat me easy. Ain't nothing clear. I, I, if I'm not losing, then, you know, niggas can't say I'm not out here winning. Right. Facts. <laughs> that's Facts. that's how I look at it. Like, you can't show me why I clearly lost. So who says I didn't win? But the, Okay, so just as a whole, okay, this Diz battle. First of all, what, what does this Diz battle mean to you? Like, what do, uh, what do you mean? Uh, okay, well, all right, it was a battle, first of all, it was a battle I never, like, I never really wanted, I never, like, thought about me and this battling, because I felt like, are right, we both trying to, like, do this shit for the West, like, we both trying to do this for the West, like, let's, let's get this shit popping, you know what I mean, he was holding it down before I came on the scene, then I got on the scene and started holding it down, so now it's like, what does it mean is, um... First of all, I think it'll be my first million view battle. First of all, you know, me and K Sean, we got like 800,000. We, we only, you know, we ain't that long away from my first ever million. But I think this disaster battle will get me my first million because this come with a million views down there just by itself. Yeah. 
just by itself, he probably get you a million if he's good. Like if he's good, he'll get a million views. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like that's the caliber. He's up there with the the hollows and the mooks, lux. Like he's up there with them. So, and you know, with me and him going back and forth in a crazy battle, I it'll have to get a million. So that's what that's the first thing that I look at. Okay, this is my first million view battle. Now it's one of my battles. So. I could use this battle as a bargaining chip for my champion of the year run. Because what niggas will try to do is say, oh, yeah, Danny, you battle Quantum Physics, you battle Mac Myron. You, yeah, you haven't fired battles, but you ain't battle no names. So how are you going to be champion of the year? Right. So when when I say, well, goddamn, I battle disaster. Like, he's one of the biggest names in the So that just eliminates all that I haven't battled nobody shit. Yeah. So that's awesome. That's one of the things that this battle is going to help me with in, in my uh, champion of the year run. So they can't use that against me. You know, he's one of the biggest niggas in the history of battle rap. So it doesn't really get no bigger than disaster. Mm. And the fact that it's a three, because it was just a one round battle on shots fired. We were supposed to do it in, uh, in San Diego. And it got, it got changed to a three round battle on King of the Dot. So now it like it actually counts. So can't nobody say, oh well that this battle don't count. Like this is his fucking return. Mm -hmm. This digger it's my return too. Like I haven't battled on King of the Dot in like three years, like since Jonah. Right. That was my last battle on King of the Dot was Massacre, like Jonah battle. Mm -hmm. So this is my return too. And what it says is like all right, this is West Coast supremacy. Facts. Oh man, see honestly look bro, check this out. I uh I don't really care about the title of King of the West because like Geechee out here, the younger dudes, Rum Nitty, they they are really putting on. And we got guys coming up under them, you know what I'm saying? Saint, mm -hmm. Next, uh, Grizz, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of niggas that's trying to get their names up too. So I feel like I did my job as far as what I wanted to do with my career. I I didn't want to just make a name for Danny Myers. I also wanted to say, hey, the West Coast has bars. Yeah. We are good at rapping also. It ain't just grind Snoop time. and Dre over here. We, and it's not just grind time. Yeah, and grind, grind time yeah. shit. So I feel like I did my job. So I don't really care who who's the king of the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? Like, Geechee got the belt. You know, Geechee holding the belt right now. He's still putting on great battle. He got surf coming up. You know what I'm saying? Arsenal battle finna drop. Him and Chess finna drop. Geechee's like, that nigga trying to make a repeat. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> especially if he beats surf. So the West is in good hands as far as like, and then Rum Nitty, Rum Nitty is like worldwide respected for his pen. Like his 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 bars is like a lot of niggas got him as the best puncher in the world. He's the best puncher in the world right now, man. And niggas ain't punching like Nitty right now, man. Uh, sh yeah, it's, this shit different. Man. <clears throat> yeah, bro. Like you know, me and Nitty would have always been fighting for that one and two spot if I would have just kept like punching. Like, if I would have just yeah, kept punching. Yeah, I feel Like, you. if I would have just said, let me just keep. But see, when I was just punching, niggas would criticize me. I, oh, that's all you know how to do. You you don't, you're just one-dimensional. And I'm like, bar guy don't mean punchline guy. Bar guy means the god of all bars. So I, I showed, showed niggas I can angle angle it out with niggas like Swave and Pat Stay and Charlie Clips and uh, DNA. I can do angles. I can do personals. I can do the jokes. I can rebuttal. Mm -hmm. I can do it all. So I, I let Nitty have the punch shit. I left it alone. So you could, you know, that's yours. You know what I'm saying? I'm just talking about in terms of, like, best pen in battle rap. I'm trying to show niggas, like, I'm the best pen. You got Lux. You got Solomon. JC. You got other niggas that's up there in that upper echelon. But what I'm saying is, in terms of output, in terms of how many battles and how consistent, like, Lux only got, like, like, 11 battles, 12, something like that? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, really like I'm, talk, I'm talking about in total. Like, the nigga only got, not even really he, he don't, I don't know if he's got 15, 20 battles in total. We're not counting 106 in park shit. But if you want to count those two, he might be like at 16, 18 battles. Total. I did that, like, last year. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, and I'm trying to be the best writer in the world. Right. Like, Fuck all that other stuff. I'm trying to be the best writer in the world as far as King King of the West Coast shit. I don't I don't want the title of the king. I don't want it. I I just want the West to be, to be the king of battle rap. Right. 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 
I just want the West to be the king of battle rap. Now, who the best nigga on the West? It, you can't really say because it's so many different fans that like different things. And it, yeah. So if you it's, if you got the punchers, it's nah, hard go to ahead. Say. It's hard to say because everybody does something different. You know what I mean? So for like somebody who's more into like that rebuttally, you know, more backpacker kind of flow thing. They might have a have a ill Mac or 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 a, or a pass or a pass or a Diz. We or, got we got diversity. Yeah, Diz, and, pass, and, and, ill Mac, and, 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 and the even Soros. On, even on the writing side, some people still gonna be like, man, they like the hardest, the, the coldest writer out, man. Like you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like, they like quantum physics. Exactly. So it, it's just it's a, it's a lot of dope talent. So it's it's always gonna be a debate. Yeah, so I remember, it, as far as the King shit, I, I don't really care about that shit. Like, Disaster, uh, he, yeah, I mean, check this out. I, I, this one, I'm going to talk some shit, too. So, even though he's traveled all over the world and Switzerland and Germany and all these places he's been, name me one of the niggas he battled. Good like, point. just off the top of your head. Good point. Name what's one of the names of the niggas? Name me some bars from that battle. It's just, this is what I'm saying, bro. Like a lot of views is not like great material. That's anything. what I'm saying, my nigga. Like that shit don't mean nothing over here, bro. Like I respect that you're going over there and battling these guys and you're getting that that experience or whatever, and you're you're bringing battle rap to different parts of the world and bringing awareness to what's going on over here, but. We we don't know them niggas. We don't watch them battles. They're I can't tell you us. one bar. I can't tell you one bar from one of those battles. I literally can't. If if I had to save my, my kid's life right now, I could not even save my child's life. If they said, Danny Myers, we got a gun in your kid's head. Name me two bars from one of Disaster's overseas battles from either opponent. I cannot tell you, bro. That's what I'm saying. The, that shit, what you doing, and you try to use that as, as an accolade or whatever. Okay, that's cool, my nigga, but dog, that shit don't mean shit. Niggas ain't talking about disaster bars. When niggas talk about disaster, it's, it's, it's certain historic moments that come up that you can't never forget, like him versus DNA. Mm -hmm. Maybe him, him, him and Sway, him and Cannabis. Maybe, I don't know. Even the Cassidy spit niggas wasn't even like, man... Niggas weren't fucking with that battle, bro. Like, niggas weren't fucking with Disaster and Cassidy. Niggas like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> so, like, these, both of these niggas lost. Both of them trash. They is lost to Cassidy. You know what I mean? Like, him and Official on King of the Dot. Like, okay, that was cool. Could have been better. Disaster not putting in, like, Battle of the Year candidates like, like I'm doing every year. I'm talking about I do it every year since I got in the game. Battle of the year. I've had a battle that was in top 10 of that year since uh, 2013. Mm. Since 2013, all the way to 2019, I have a battle of the year, Kennedy. Every year. Diz can't say that. Diz cannot say that. So, this is, I'm not, I, don't be, I don't be fearful of these niggas. Right. Because they're not out here doing what I'm doing. And you've been, you been outside in the field. You done seen it all, for real, for real. I done seen it all, bro. Like, you not, it ain't nothing you going to show. Like, you're not going to intimidate me. Not gonna multi-syllable me to death. You're not gonna joke me to death. You could do, you could do all that shit, and make it dope on your end. But then when it's my turn to rap, now you gotta hear some shit you never stood in front of in your life. All the battles that he's done, they're null and void right now because none of that is gonna prepare him for this. He hasn't stood in front of real bars. A nigga that that has genius angles, like the shit that I have for him is like genius level, bro. I listen for the few niggas that heard this disaster shit. All they saying is, bro, like dog, that's the best shit I ever heard in battle rap. Not just they they not saying don't this the bunny, best shit I ever heard be, from don't Danny. Let be, don't let it be yes men though. Don't you know what I'm saying? Make sure it's niggas. Nah, like this is these is respected niggas, bro. These okay. is respected bar spitters. Okay. These is respected niggas, bro. Like I, I ain't gonna say their names, but these is niggas that I and a lot of them I don't even like kick you with. Like I don't even kick with these niggas. Mm. Niggas told me this the best shit I ever heard in battle rap. Like I never like fuck the best Danny. This this ain't the best version of Danny. This is just the best rapping I've ever heard ever in the history of battle rap. Oh shit! And I and I said it. I said it like damn. All right, I want to take it up. 
I'm going to turn it up a notch. Let's turn the lyricism up. You think you can rap? Fuck getting here and doing all these Arabian jokes. So you're, you're, you know what I'm saying? Lebanon, Arab, Arab, yeah, Arab whatever, bitch. I, I don't got to do three, three fucking rounds of that. I don't have to do all that, that, that shit. He's going he's gonna to get some of that. Don't, don't get it twisted. He's going to get some of that. But in terms of can you rap for real? Can you rap for, can you bar it out with a nigga? Like, where's the real rapping um, power at with you, Disaster? We finna put it to the test right now. Mm. Mm. I'm a, and, and this, this, what I'm gonna do with this is gonna be a warning to everybody else that, that try to come after me, bro. Like, you niggas can't write better than me. None of them. That's how I feel, bro. I feel like can't nobody outwrite me. Damn. It ain't, I, to, like, to this day, niggas is not outwriting me at all. It's not happening. You know what niggas do? They'll say, oh, Danny, but you, you, you said that, but you battle schemes. And, and guess what? Them same niggas that do that, they don't never quote none of the bars from the Steam battle. <laughs> they don't do the side-by-side comparison. Oh, you lost to Glue Easy. Wait a minute. You, you telling me that uh, Glue Easy's who watching them bar, which was my bar? Is that what you're saying? Now when we further go into them rounds and look at what I was saying versus what he was saying, this shit don't never even be close, bro. Up. It don't even be close. It's not close. So I'm not gonna get outwritten by nobody. You can go get Lux, you can go get Iron Solomon, go get Disaster, watch what happened to these niggas. Because I, I write differently per opponent. Like if you notice when I battle B dot, like I show niggas the level of depth I can go to. Oh, we now we on some social conscious shit now. Okay. We on some, some socioeconomic shit. We on some black power shit now. All right, I could do that. Mag, my, I battle Mag Myron. Oh, you want to punch? All right. Niggas forgot I could punch. Let me punch it out with this nigga for three rounds. Mm. All right. There's another guy that he stepped into the parallel universe the same day you battled Mag Myron. Cassidy, right. had a, you know, I know you heard the cast parallel universe bar. Uh, now he called me, you know, he called me and spit it. He called me and spit it to me before he, he got on stage. Like, I don't know if he just wanted me to hear it or if he wanted to see if I was going to be mad or or if I was going to prove of it. I thought it was dope. Thought I it thought dope. it was dope. And actually, I, I was honored. I was like, yo, that, I'm honored to keep it real. Because mm. niggas was texting me and tweeting me like, yo, this nigga's Cassidy just stole Danny. No, he didn't steal it, bro. He actually, it was like more of like paying homage. Because right. you can't steal something that is that well known. Like every if everybody in the world know where parallel universe. Like you can only uh, associate that with one dude on the planet. Right. So it, it wasn't like he was trying to just sneak it and make it like it was his. He was just he just did his own version of it, which was paying homage to me, and I thought it was dope. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I I was actually honored that you know Cassidy did that. Like Cassidy up there spit my shit. Right. That that lets you know. Like, niggas respect me on a level where, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Crooked Eye, Royce Five Nine, all these niggas hit me up. Like, yo, nigga, you, you are a fucking elite level. Right. And I'm, and these are niggas that's in the industry. These are niggas who are known for their pen. Like, Royce is one of the greatest lyricists we ever seen. Crooked Eye, same shit. These niggas hit me up. Like, yo, Danny, you keep doing your shit, bro. We fuck with you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's you know, uh, Sauce Money. Uh, sauce money, my zone, fucking <laughs> goddamn everybody, niggas hitting me up, bro. Industry niggas. So, so uh, do you feel? Let's just keep it real. Do you? Cause you was even before you know this whole five thousand one and those shit was really irritating you. <laughs> do you absolutely. feel like everything you was saying prior to his battle with Goods played to be true? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, as far as, like, the 5,000 and shit, like, my nigga, like I said, ain't none of us battled no 5,000 niggas. No, that's, that's first of all, none of us. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Nobody, niggas, like, we haven't even battled, like, more than, if you, even the old vets like me, Marv, one, these, like, we probably ain't battled no 200 niggas, dog, 300 niggas in our whole life. No human has done it. It's not. It hasn't happened. 
So we talk about five thousand. I know it's just a it's a promotional thing, bro. It's really just a promotional tool. Because mm. if that's the case, I can just say, well, shit, I'm seven thousand in in O, oh, and you know what I'm saying. Right. I could just make up a number where we don't have proof of no visual video that you battle this many niggas. You can just say that. Yeah. We all can say that. Rex, Moot, Lux, Goods. We all can say, well, before the cameras was on, nigga, I was in the street battling block to block, and I battled like 7,000 niggas. Like, nobody's done that, bro. Let's just, like, stop the bullshit. Right. Stop the bullshit. Furthermore, <laughs> Cassidy's bars... Cassidy's bars were not better than Romniti's, which I had predicted. If y'all listen to any of the interviews I did, I was like, he's not going to say nothing colder than Romniti on that same car, bro. He didn't. Mm. I will give Cassidy his props because he is a true battle rapper. He got up there. He said his shit. Niggas is actually debating he won. I don't, on my first, I only seen the one time I actually had goods winning. Hey, Amen. Uh, Danny, I'm chicken gang, man. Cast two one, chicken gang, man. <laughs> hey, let me let me tell you this. Let me let me say this. If if I go up there and rap the same type of shit versus goods, niggas will say I got smoke. Facts. Like <laughs> the reason why I say I say goods one is because I think goods out battled him and he mm-hmm. was kind of more direct, more like talking to Cassidy. And Cassidy was just showing that I, I could rap better than you. Yeah. And, he, and I, think, I think they both they both kind of proved their points. Yeah, but you know, I feel like um I I necessarily like going into this man, you know, following this for a long time. I had no um there was no like I wanted Cassidy to do good and win just because I feel like for entertainment purposes, I feel like for entertainment purposes, Cassidy is great for battle rap. So I wanted him to do great. I wanted him to excel. I wanted him to win now, but me knowing the knowledge and how this thing worked, I didn't think he could actually win, but I wanted him to. And partly because like I said, with goods, I mean, I just don't think, I think for somebody to come back, like a J Mills coming back versus Kayshawn, I feel like that's not something you do. Like, right. Cassidy coming back versus a Danny or something. That's not something you do. I feel like coming back against right. goods, who's not going to overwhelm you with a, a crazy tempo, crazy punches, crazy writing. I felt right. like this is the, the, this is the best way to ease back into it. Somebody who's not just going to overwhelm you. You know what I mean? And I felt like that was true. I felt like Goods was he was he was good. He was okay. You know, it, it, it wasn't. Yeah, he was all right. Yeah. So I, I even though you know most people I think feel like Goods won, I still feel like the same way that if you're gonna come back, I feel like he was the one to come back against because he's not gonna overwhelm you material wise. You know what I mean? I mm-hmm. feel like if Cassidy just where he went wrong, it wasn't the writing. It was the fact he never mixed up his speeds and tempo. He never, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? He rapped the same slow flow for three straight rounds. Yep. You can't do that on a right. big stage today. That's where he gets went repetitive, wrong. Gets repetitive. Gets repetitive. Exactly. Yep. Um, I thought he I thought he rapped better than Goods. Like, I think his, he had bars his first, especially his first round. Like, his first was crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I could push a melanin now. And that fake icy rock, it ain't going to make the swelling go down. Like, all that shit was... Like, the timing of it, he knows how to rap, bro. Like, mm-hmm. that's one thing about him. But I, I also knew that in terms of punchlines, you're not – like, the the way he was promoting, like, I, I, I said it, nigga, you better say some shit me <laughs> and Rum Nitty cannot come up with, bro. And not one time did I hear something that me and Rum Nitty couldn't have thought of. No, so he didn't I, have he didn't have nothing on on a rum. And, and, and that's why, and that's where I was at with it. So when niggas was like, "Oh, Danny, you a Cassidy hater? You hate Cassidy?" I'm like, "No, I don't hate Cassidy. I'm just saying, in terms of the writing, I, I I'm not as impressed. Like even even when it wasn't even battle rap involved, when it was just just the industry punchers. Like I I, I feel like Fabulous Punches was a little more slicker than Cassidy. Uh, Jada Kisses kind of was like more street oriented mm-hmm. but as far as like just straight bars and clever witty shit yeah Cassidy was putting out a lot of dope ass verses mixtapes feature verses his own music Cassidy was always about bars and that's what I always respected about him 
But I still never thought he was the best nigga with the bars. Now, and I'm do you like, think... you know, he got to battle another puncher. He got to battle a puncher, bro, yeah. to be really solidified. But I'm glad he didn't do that right away. Because you put Cassidy in front of a wrong oh idiot somebody God. right away. He, he, you know what I mean? And I'm real enough yeah, to, to bro, know that. Yeah, bro, it's going to take these niggas a few battles to get acclimated to to today's style of battle rapping. Like, it's going to take you. You ain't finna just jump, jump in there and do it. I, hey, shout out to King Los, because Los went in there, and he beat Head Ice. Mm-hmm. But and again, losing. again, though, head and not, this isn't a disrespect to them. It's just oh, styles make styles make fights. Head Ice That's is a, a great fact. battler, but in terms of he's not gonna overwhelm you with the the wig with, bars, with right, the writing, right. with the he's not <laughs> he don't have a rapid K shine flow where even That's if he said hated the battle in the first place. Exactly. I was like, why is it? Why the fuck is it? Why is it this? See, but if you gonna daylight, jump in, if you gonna jump in and you don't, you haven't done this. That's the type of battler you need to jump in with to get your feet wet. You don't to jump in. You don't jump in with a Briz Rosty. You don't jump in don't, with yeah, an oh, ad. You don't nah, do that. You don't jump. You don't just jump in with Nitty. Yeah, you don't do you that. You don't just jump in and battle Danny Myers your first comeback. Like no, bro. exactly. It's like, not gonna work out for you the way you thinking, bro. Like this is a different day, and and even check this out. All right, so two quick points. All right, I've never seen Cassidy battle another punchliner. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, even, like, I want to see him battle. So he got a lot of props for beating Freeway. I always say, hey, I didn't, I really kind of don't give it that much credit because Freeway was kind of more of a song-oriented guy. Facts. And that probably came off as a battle rapper, gave you the persona of a battle rapper, but he, he don't spit battle rap. Yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? He's not a battle rapper. Fuck what y'all was talking about back then, and y'all picked him because he was the battle guy of the crew. I would rather rather him battle Beanie Siegel with anybody. Uh, so then he turns around, about disaster. It's a nut, that's another non punchline style rapper. Now you battle Goods, another non punchline rapper. Hmm. So I just want to see him in there one time with just like even if you go get Briggs Belvedere or you get Big K. Or somebody that just punching with him. You know, I don't want to see Cassidy versus Shotgun Shug. Because I think that's what they were talking about. I don't personally want to see that. Because it doesn't really test Cassidy's, like, pin game. Mm-hmm. Shug going to there, bump him, dunk on him, pocket, hot pocket tap. Yeah, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. What you know about. It's not, you know, it's a style class that don't. Let's match these niggas up with like-minded writers. Yeah. Let's see how you do against somebody that has similar skill set to you. Like, not right now. Definitely not him in no him in no nitty. Nah. But at least him in uh, I don't know who's a who's a puncher, Cassidy that that he could battle mm. right now. That ain't too that ain't too too much out of his league. You know what I'm saying? I think not he could get in there with like body. a, and it, it's going. I'm. This is not to be disrespectful, but I'm just like I'm trying to be more realistic about it. I think they need to jump in with like the Jerry West type dude. Like, and Jerry West is fire. Like you, like realistically, right, right. And he, and, and, and realistically, he could get smoked by Jerry West. Like realistically, that's what I'm about you know to say. Saying? Like you can lose to West. Like, but yeah, that's a good, that's a good fight. Like put Cassidy in there with Jerry West, and niggas would be like. What the fuck did Jerry West do to earn Cassidy, you know? See, and now that's when another part of the game comes in where here comes this name shit and yeah. all this shit. We like, talking no, we talking straight matchup. style and how you can yeah, let's just improve. Matchup. Like we're not trying to get the niggas shit. smoke. Like we're not trying to just have him get put out of here, like you know what <laughs> I mean? Like, you know. Let's see how he do on this level before we uh, put him in there with a uh, AF or a Rum Nitty exactly. or a Danny Myers. Exactly. Don't put no motherfucking, like, uh, real shit, Cassidy don't want to get in there with Mac Myron. Like, I don't I nah, don't think, nah, I don't think that'll work out well for Cassidy on some real shit, bro. And I'm not saying that because I battled Mac, but I, I just, even if I didn't battle Mac, I would have said the same shit because I know Mac be punching crazy, bro, and he's going back to back, back to back, back to back, back to back. Yeah. Can Cassidy even write those 
that that style. That's why. Shit. That's why I said it's about like that format. I don't think he could do like you coming in. These dudes that's punching back to back to back, or somebody with a rapid flow like K. Sean. Even when K. Sean say something that's just okay, he coming right. with it back to back so fast that. He gonna say something right. good soon. Like it's 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 coming. Uh, yeah, eventually, eventually yeah. something's gonna hit. Right. Exactly. You're right. You're right. So it's it doesn't make sense to jump in. That's why I wouldn't even say him versus. I wouldn't even tell him to jump in versus Young Cannon because Cannon is coming back Hell to back no. to back. It, it just don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, Cannon. Hey, bro. He he might not have that name, but if you look at me and Cannon battle, that's fire. That's or fire any battle. or any Cannon battle for that matter. Yeah. Cannon is another one of them dudes that's probably not as, you know, he don't got the name like that and this and that. He don't have the, the star power. He, But I know he not in it for that. I know he just trying to be nice. That mm-hmm. nigga will smoke a lot of niggas. You He'll put Cash in there with Young niggas. Cannon, man, listen, Young Cannon will look at that as, nigga, this is an opportunity. Yeah. And he will go crazy. He'll wild out. He will wild punching. out on him. He will wild out on him. He'll wild out. I'm talking about from the from the first word. And we're first not like, because I know people go hear this and say, oh, y'all saying this nigga's better than goods. Like, we're not saying that. We're saying styles make fights. And stylistically, yeah, that's all I'm it don't make sense stylistically, to jump in let's certain get waters. That makes sense. That fact, bro. Think about this. Now I'm interested in a Lux battle because he's battling a verb. Now, a writer, finally. Finally. And I, I this shit, bro, on fucking YouTube. Mm-hmm. And it's called For the Love of the Game, uh, Perspective on Battle Rap by Danny Myers. Mm-hmm. Like, if, you, if you just look at that, I did that years ago. I said the nigga Lux, he has this mystique about him, and he's he's an excellent writer. He paved the way. He opened the doors. He was the, the one of the godfathers of actual pin game in battle rap. Mm-hmm. I, that's how I look at the nigga. Mm-hmm. I look at him as that's that. That's a fact. Nigga. That's he, a whole fact. He was the, you. He was the first nigga in battle rap that I said that this nigga writing is another level than the other niggas around him. Right. And it wasn't his fault. It wasn't mm-hmm. his fault that he just was ahead of his time and niggas, it wasn't nobody else like him. But now when you fast forward to this era, and then when you get the JCs and the Chillas and the O Reds and the XLs and the Danny Myers and the Nitties. Now you got niggas that can go in there and write with this nigga. Mm-hmm. Now, Cause back then, I don't think it was nobody that could write with him. You had niggas that had other attributes. You had the Arsenals, the Goods, the K Shines, the Tay Rocks, Party Artis, you know, Series Jones, Mooks. You know, they they all had their own thing. But that niggas, just to keep it real, bro, they wasn't fucking with Lux. With that pen, with the punches, with the the clever the clever shit that he wrote. The, the double entendres, the intricate shit, the layer shit, they was not doing that. I'm sorry. They just don't write like that. And it wasn't nobody else but Lux at that time, so that's not his fault. So right. you, you look at his battle, he's battled Calico, street rapper, uh, Mook, angle rapper. Uh, Mook do have punches and shit, too. He can kind of do it all, but he's not a pure, like, pen. And so Lux... I think he started to add shit, so that's when he started bringing up angles. That's why you get the third round for Calico. He's bringing because when you see him versus Young Miles, it was just it was like like clever punches, clever mm-hmm. writing, clever writing, just dope rapping. He out rapped Young Miles, Miles choke, Lux became a legend in that gray hoodie. That was that. Yep. Now I didn't see that. I didn't see that gray hoodie Lux no more after that. That's a real <laughs> fact. He, he, you know, we always talk about gray hoodie, gray hoodie Lux. We only seen it one time. It might have been a fluke. It might not never happen again. So it might have been now, a fluke. Hey, I ain't seen it again. You saw him in that gray <laughs> hoodie on flex. I haven't seen. Oh, but look, but that was on the. But look, and I said that. Yo, he got now. This is the lux we want to see on stage. Mm-hmm. He brought that on a radio show, but not in. Why he didn't do that to Arsenal? He why, lost. You know Arsenal. what I'm saying? Like he lost Arsenal. He lost to Arsenal. And I've, I'm not a Lux hater. You know, Lux, me and, me and Lux talk. Like, you know what I'm saying? He battled Hollow. Hollow's what they call unorthodox. Mm-hmm. So he's not like a pin. And a Hollow pin ain't that crazy anyway. Just, you know, that's coming out of my mouth. I and mean, yeah. if you hear this and I'm feel a way. I'm not whatever. a Hollow guy, but uh, he, I respect call, call him. I respect him, but I'm not a Hollow guy. 
Yeah, Hollow Pin, but that still was one of the greatest battles. Still ever. a that great like a battle, dope, amazing style battle. clash. St- style clash, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, that was amazing. I and I actually think Hollow did some of his best writing in that battle. Like he did some pretty good shit in that battle too. So. He did. He stepped it up. But he knew he had to though. My criticism was the same thing with Cassidy. I haven't seen y'all in there with another nigga with like, at, even if he like the the closest skill set to yours, like the similar. skill Skill set. I haven't seen you battle another one of them niggas in your whole career. So I'm not going to give you the title of best writer ever. The way the fans was giving him, oh, Lux the greatest writer of all time. All these other niggas is his sons, and they can't come close to him. And I'm like, damn. But me and JC been doing some shit, like, consistently, month after month. Yeah, and that's, that's really where I get killer. to the point where, like, ah, I respect <laughs> Lux a lot, but it's like, is it really... <sighs> is it really fair to compare? Like, a JC done stood right. in front of the other dope writers. Like, everybody in writer's that's, block. That's the, that's the fact. You know, you know what I mean? It's just like, is it fair to compare? Like, the body of work don't even. Thank you. Thank you. So, when you see what happens is Lux has the mystique and he has the names to back it up. Like, nigga, I battled motherfucking Mook twice. Nigga, I battled Arsenal. He's got the names. But now it's like, all right, my nigga, what about the the actual lyrical wars? Yeah. Like, I, I didn't see you in no, you know, like, him and Hollow's the, the closest thing, I guess, is the, the like, that's that, that's his standout battle for me, personally, is him yeah, and Hollow. I think his, his third round versus Hollow and, is my favorite round since he's returned. Like, that third versus Hollow. Okay, Hollow's exactly, one. right? Yeah. So, but like you said, JC had battled the other writers. Me, me, myself, like I just told you, there's only, like, three niggas left on the planet. Yeah. That I haven't battled. I battled all the other respected pins right. and arguably won. If that if I didn't clearly win, it's a debatable. So I I didn't never lose to none of them. I've been in the wars with all the other writers. Mm-hmm. I have not seen Lux battle not even one of them. Right. Not even one. Finally he's doing it. And on top of that, he's doing a first ever role game. That motherfucking Jersey shit where he battled on you, Dub. Yeah, that's that's that shit no at home, game. man. That shit all the nigga, same. Nigga, you man. across the street, nigga. That's not no motherfucking role game. Now you in a role game where ain't no... Niggas ain't in there finna just ride ride your cock, bro. Like, ain't no, niggas ain't doing none of that shit. They're not finna... Oh, my God, it's Lux. And anything he says, we're just gonna go crazy even if we don't understand it. Mm. Like, nah, Houston is liable to fuck around and boo. If they if they not if you ain't coming with it, coming. yeah. That's not for just luck. That's for verb too. Like nigga, Facts, if y'all verb. niggas ain't coming with that shit, and you say some bullshit, we gonna boo. And I and I and I, it's fair. I like it. That's the type of pressure niggas need to be under. Mm. Niggas niggas done got too comfortable where they like niggas is comfortable where they can just come in and just say whatever because they are so and so. I'm so and so. So I'm gonna say this and this. Y'all going y'all gonna cheer for it? No, niggas, niggas in Houston, niggas in Atlanta. It, it it ain't the same. You know what I'm saying? You're not getting no hometown love. You're not getting no sympathy cheers. You're not getting a pass. You know that go even that even go for the Houston niggas. That go right. for whoever on the car, nigga. They're not going for it. They pay hundred some fucking dollars to get in there to hear some shit that 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 they can't say. If you saying shit that they can freestyle on their porch, why the fuck do they pay to come see you? Mm. So niggas is under pressure. And Lux, shout out to Lux for doing a, a pin game battle and a roll game battle at the same fucking time. Yeah, yeah And if he can waiting. win this battle, if he can get a clear win over Lux, over Verb, then that's when we got to just kind of take our hat off and say, all right, what we more do you it. want from the nigga? Well, well, yeah, because now you can't keep pushing the finish line back. Yeah. You can't, every time you get to the finish line, you can't add something else. Yeah. Now, but if Verb, win this mother, say, if Verb win this battle, there's no, I don't think there's any more conversations about no more GOAT talk, man. Nah, nah as far as the GOAT, and they still ain't going to want to give it to they him. They still ain't going to want to give it know, to him. I know they ain't. I know they not, but I, I tell you this. For a nigga to say I have beat all the other Rushmore niggas, mm-hmm. like when you can say Diz, you can say Hollow, Arsenal, Mook, Mook Lux, Arsenal, Mook, nigga, uh, even the other niggas, Slave, Hitman, Cortez, K, 
hit, man, bro. Surf, you he be there. argue with yeah, yeah. Oh, red. Oh, you not. I don't know. You're not gonna argue with that resume, bro. You can't say he's not the goat. And then they try to they try to counterbalance it by well, well, he lost to fucking gyms for money. He lost to to Pat Stay in a judge battle. He choked versus so and so. Only he, thing with that you know, be is like I was I was pissed when Verve lost lost to gyms. By the way, but. My thing is this though, like, I, I'm a, I'm a, but nigga got sixty this. battles. Like, do you really expect him to be sixty and like, like realistic? Like, right, right, right. We... That's right. That's a fact, bro. And yeah, oh, he lost, he lost, he lost the clip. Bad. He lost K Shine. Bad. All right, cool. He, he took a couple beatdowns, but I will say this: he he put he put himself in position to at least he at least he put himself on the the battlefield. Mm-hmm. Now you put yourself on that battlefield, you might die any given time, myself included. I, I don't care if I'm battling No Name, Legend, Disaster, Franchise, Chef Trey. It don't matter who I battle. If I'm, if I'm in that fucking field, I can die. It can happen to me. Mm-hmm. And I just got to eat that, right? Right. Fur put himself out there, and he lost, but he, but he fought, though. He fought. So don't try to, like, take away GOAT status because he got some losses because all them niggas got lost. Right. You know, Verb beat Mook. A lot of niggas gave it to Verb. Verb beat Mook. He beat Mook. Hollow, Hollow got 30 down there about Matt Hoff. And that was y'all GOAT. Hollow was the GOAT, remember? Now he got 30. <laughs> Clipson got 30. Clipson got beat. All the niggas have lost, bro. Everybody. So don't try to use that against Verb to say, well, no, because all the niggas. Even Lux got 30, my niggas. So yeah. <laughs> what the yeah. fuck? Yeah. That's a fact. If, Give Verb his props if he wins this battle, even if it's a d- debatable. Even if it's debatable, I still have to go with that because yeah. Verb's just supposed to be this god and this and that and third. If 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 the Verb just got to make it a dope ass battle. Yeah, if he, he make it a actually, dope battle, he don't actually have to clearly win. If he make he it a dope back and forth, he solidifies. Yeah, that's it's, all it's, he needs. He, is, that's all It'll he needs. It'll solidify both of them. Yep. It's, a, it's a win for both of them if it's debatable. I don't think there's a loss. It, like, put it like this. If it's a debatable, mediocre battle where it's like, ah, he didn't live up to what, like, they like they both could have did better. Like, if it, if it happens like that, then now it's like, all right, we got a conversation for some other shit. But if it's, a, like, a classic debatable, it helps both of them. Mm-hmm. But Verb is always going to be able to go back to the fact that you got 30 by Mook and I clearly beat Mook. I beat Mook. I beat you. And you it, had a debatable with Hollow. I beat Hollow. I clearly beat right. Diz. I clearly beat Arsenal. Those battles ain't even debatable. Right. So it's like that. He's right. Like, he lost to Arsenal. So he still would have the. He, if he could exactly. get, make it debatable with exactly. Lux, he still got the edge in other areas over Lux. Mm-hmm. Now, I got one bone you know to pick saying? with you, Danny. I got, I got a bone to pick with you, bro. You, Let's go. Me hearing your. Uh, first off, I know you know your shit. So, and I know why you said it, but I just don't like the fact that you did. Why'd you tell, Ch- and I'm chicken gang, and I'm not saying this. Why'd you tell Chubby Jack that he could beat Hitman Holler and all these other niggas, man? Why would y'all say that? Oh. Yeah, why would you say that, Danny? Check this out. Yeah, yeah. First, come on, of all, first of all, I'm South Central, Chubby Jack South Central. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm already going to be biased, home team, home team type of shit anyway. Um. In a bar for bar lyrical rap contest, I done seen Chubby Jack get busy. If you if you like if you heard Chubby Jack battle, if you seen one of his battles, I heard him like versus him and Cortez. I, I was there. I was on the line for that. That was fire. That was fire. Uh-huh. Niggas might not. Niggas might. Niggas just like ain't talking about it. But that shit was crazy. That shit was fire at the time. Yeah. Should Chubby Jack like? Like Jack, but you know this ain't that though. That's win. my problem. You know this ain't he, that. So why are you saying like you fronting right now, Danny? Oh, hold on, but but I was about you didn't let me finish. All right, all right. After watching Hitman versus Bill Collector, that was the Hitman I needed to see. Bars, and it reminded me. It reminded me that damn this nigga Hitman really is like a legend because I. I was always like on the fence about Hitman, kind of skeptical, like, oh, I don't know, he probably like it's all performance. But I realized he actually can rap. Like the nigga got bars. He ain't like no, you know, like ultra level pin game nigga. But the nigga not losing. Mm-hmm. It's like he not 
he not losing. So if he, you know, which ones did he lose? I think he lost to Verb. Ed, Verb might have edged him out. Well, he lost though. a That's couple. He he, uh, I think Rex got him in the one rounder. He lost to Verb. Uh, okay. Uh, did he lose Big to T, uh, maybe? Goods? He choked. Yeah, yeah he choked. Heard, heard. He he choked in the one round of Goods, so he automatically had lost that. Lost the Goods. Uh, him and Big T. I think I edged Big T in that. But that was a good. I mean, it was a good back and forth though. So it ain't like he got smoked or nothing. Overall, he be winning back. Like showed me since he been on that wild and out shit, and he came back. He came back and clearly beat Suge to me. He beat Suge. The nigga beat Suge. He beat Shine. K Shine and Tay Rock clearly. And Tay Rock. So it's like I, I, I don't dog. You got I don't even got a hat on, but I got to take the hat off for this nigga hit me. To, mm. to to come to come back and say nigga I beat Shug, um, Shine and Rock, and then just had a classic with Bill, like yeah, and and still won that one. I still yeah. had him beating that beating beating Bill too, but you know it was a good one. Mm-hmm. But the nigga Hitman is, is is a warrior. He's battle tested. You can't tell him shit. You can't tell him nothing. But do you think that Can't Chubby Jack could actually Hitman aside? Do you Can think Chubby that Jack, Jack could jump in and do this and like, like jump in and like do like? Do you think he could jump in and do better than a man? No, 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 not even a Hitman. But do you think he could jump in and do better than a Jay Mills and a Cassidy debut? Like out of everybody we've seen come back, we've seen Joe Budden come, we've seen Mr. Fab come in the game. Do you think he could come in and tread these waters and 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 succeed? I think he would do, I mean, just as well or if not better than King Los. I think okay. he would do just as well. Okay. Okay. Like, I think he, because he's battled, I mean, the niggas are real. He's a battler too, though. Like, that's something niggas don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? We know, we knew his name way back in the day. Like, before the, the music shit, like, Chubby Jag, like, Jag was known as a battler. The nigga got bars. Now, can he get in front? Should should Hitman be his first jump-in battle? No, no I don't think so. Because you, you can fuck around and find out that it's other shit to this battle shit and get, get smoked. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to so be I honest think with you. should go in there with some, you know, some, ta- some talent. He could go in there with some niggas and get his feet wet. I feel like, um, do. to be honest with you, I mean, I'd actually be pretty comfortable with him jumping in. Just because I know, for one, he could really write and rap. He got the aggression. I mean, I, I was there. I was on the line for the him and Cortez shit. So I know he understand. I know he understands the format. He's not removed to the point where he don't... Just hearing how he formatted his material alone versus Cortez lets me know that he has an idea of how, to, how this goes. Because um, I feel like the right. formatting is... I feel like the formatting is damn near more important than the bars in today's time. If you don't format it right, it don't matter what you saying. Like it, it's it's not going it's not going to work. And Jag is a pause. He's a big nigga, dog. Like he's a you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Presence like he's got the he got visual, yeah, like the if visual. there's a pause that needs to be, but I don't I don't really like do the pause. Yeah, shit, me neither. But he he got the he's a a sizable nigga like like a twerk like a big yeah. nigga that has a presence exactly and that you, the you, visual like, means it, something. it comes across more believable when he's saying he'll knock the he'll knock your ass out and flip you over a table and all this shit it's it the visual aspect of it exactly exactly i think that kind of i think that's kind of what like is jc one of his yeah. crutches yep or I wouldn't say a crutch, but one of the things that it is like, though, it is a it, crutch though. He get in there with like he as lyrical as he could be, he'll get in there with a nigga that's kind of more like alpha. So he get in there with a Geechee or or T top. It always looked like JC's on defense. Like they barking on a kid. Like it just like worked. it's like they barking on him. Yeah, yeah. And, and, it, and he can't help that. He can't help that. He's just, he's a small guy. He's you know he can't help that. You know, but. That shit does play a part visually mm-hmm. to in, in some battles. And you look at JC and Twerk. Twerk literally was towering over this nigga, like barking down on him. And bro. then they point, and, they pointing over your head and all that, and you mad little. It just, it just looked crazy. Bro. 
It looked crazy. It looked crazy, bro. Like I'm I'm not that big of a nigga myself, but I'm a street nigga and I, I know how to handle like if you see me in there with Mac Murray, Mac's bigger than me. Uh Pat Stay way bigger than me. Like but it never at one point looked like nobody's little man. In. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't never get little man because you're not gonna I'm just not getting little man. Right. You know, the only saying? time so you got as... little man by surprise when that nigga Suge went baseline and, re- and reverse tomahawk through your head. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hey, Danny, you went flying out of the whole frame of the picture, bro. I, I flew like... out of the frame of the camera, my nigga. That shit Stop. looked crazy. Hey, hey, nigga, I would... If you watch the ba- if you watch the fuck the video, I'm on the phone texting about how I'm like, yo, this battle crazy. I think I was on Twitter. Uh-huh. I'm texting like, yo, I'm looking down at the phone. I just I just felt this un- this this omega force. I don't know <laughs> what the fuck I felt. I don't know what it was. It felt like a shotgun blast, nigga. It, it was it, but it was shotgun shoot. Oh man. <laughs> Bro, I just went flying, bro. Luckily, I held on to my phone and cracked cracked the screen of my phone and dropped my shit. You feel me? I didn't know because I didn't see it coming. Like I could have braced for it or try to move out the way. That nigga got me so scandalous, bro. bro but was it was fun. It was fun. It was funny. <laughs> I was laughing. The shit was funny, man. I can't. What can I do? I'm a good sport. Like I'm not yeah. no emotional. Geechee and them niggas, Geechee and them <laughs> niggas got him back though. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they they got you. They got his ass, bro. And I knew it was coming, cause me, me Geechee, Nitty, we was in the hotel. They they already told me like, yeah, we about to do this. I'm like, good, get that nigga. You know what I'm saying? So I knew the get back was coming. <laughs> that nigga said, that nigga should got me the fuck out of there, man. <laughs> that shit was crazy, man. But whatever, whatever. I I, I don't mind. It's yeah. fun to me. This shit is it's just, entertainment, man. man. It was great entertainment for us, the fans, man. So that's, that's what it's about. The man. thing about me is I don't take nothing personal. I don't take nothing serious. So right, it is right. what it is. This is fun. I get his ass back though. Yeah, the get I'll back get coming back. soon. I don't know when. It's coming. I don't know when, but I'm gonna catch him slipping. <laughs> you gonna have to get that I'm battle with old Red man and catch him front line. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me and old Red definitely, definitely is is getting lined up, man. So that mm. that's something where niggas be like. Hey, Danny, look, bro. Look, I'm going to tell you, Danny. You my homie, my nigga. That nigga's crazy. I fuck with you. You got bars and all that shit, bro. But, hey, that nigga already dangerous, bro. Like, mm. I don't I don't know, bro. But I got to keep it real. I'm keeping a hundo with you, my nigga. Already dangerous, bro. And I always, just the battle rapper in me, just be like, I don't give a fuck. Fuck that nigga. That's the battle rapper in me. Like, don't tell me about no other nigga. Worry about what the fuck I'm about to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, that's why That's why I want to battle a nigga. Mm-hmm. To settle this shit once and for all. Like, oh, Danny, oh, where the smoke? Danny, oh, where the smoke? Like, nigga, I ain't seen oh, where in, in as many lyrical wars as I've been in. I done mm. been. Like, if ain't none of them niggas smoke me, what the fuck? Why is oh, where go? And, and don't you think with me knowing how dangerous oh, where is, don't you think that's just going to make me know that I got to go crazier? Yeah, you got to come you with it. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, bro. Danny, do you think... Uh, wait, look, before I even let you go. Yo, do you... um Are there any talks? Like, are they going to do a traffic card this year? Are there any talks of, like, another I event? I heard there's there? traffic four, and there's initiation two, and, you know, so those are coming. So Are we still going to get you and Twerk at some and twerk. point? Yeah, yeah, that's 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 the thing. That's the thing, man. Like me and Twerk on one it, of those bro. cards, like, on one of them. Absolutely, so, man. Because it, it just don't make sense. It don't make sense if you don't see that. All right, well, bro, man, I appreciate your time, man. This was last absolutely. minute, man. I text Danny. I said, man, I just saw you and Matt go crazy. I got to get you on. He said, call now. I said, I, I, we did this right now, man. So. Danny, I appreciate you, man. Good luck versus Diz. I appreciate you, bro. Good luck versus Diz, man. Do your thing. You know, we're going to be tuned in. We're going to recap it and all that. And uh, I appreciate you, bro. I bet.